morning everybody. We're waking up bright and early in the beautiful town of Banos. I've actually been up for a very long time. <clears throat> I really enjoy waking up early and doing a little bit of exercise, getting our yoga done, and then starting off the day bright and refreshed and having worked out. Trent over here, not so much. We're having a disagreement. I've committed to do yoga every day for 30 days. This is day three, and I'm excited to do yoga, but I didn't sleep great last night. So I woke up not feeling like I got a good night's rest and I'm excited to do yoga, but I just want to have a cup of coffee and then do my yoga. And Allie over here is being a coffee Nazi and she's trying to say we have to do yoga and then we'll do coffee. No, no, no. Coffee and then yoga. Help us out in the comments. Are you someone that likes to wake up and work out immediately, get it done, and then enjoy a nice relaxing cup of coffee? Like myself? Or do you wake up, have coffee, procrastinate for as long as possible, and then work out? Coffee, yoga, breakfast, go. Well, that was day three of yoga down and out. We did a 30 minute on day one, a 30 minute yesterday, and then today we did a 45 minute flow. I'm digging it, I actually like it. It's like a nice way to stretch, get your blood moving, nice active morning. Now we're gonna have some breakfast. We're gonna make a scramble. It's been a while since we made a scramble. No! And breakfast is served, my love. Wow, thank you so much. It's nothing special. It's just a scrap. for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. We're coffeed, exercised, breakfasted, cleaned up. Now we're ready to go explore the town of Banos. It's a little bit breezy, but it doesn't necessarily look like it's gonna rain yet. We'll see. made it into the cute little town of Banos and first we have some laundry to drop off before we can start exploring. Oh, they're, oh, no. they're, closed. <laughs> they're closed, of course. They close at 12. It's about quarter to 12. They're already closed. We're gonna find another place to wash our clothes. All right, we've made it into the other side of town. Looks like there's a secondary laundry location. We're gonna see if maybe they're open. This is a cool looking tour company that also does laundry. They know their clientele. Okay, that was super easy. We dropped off our clothes. They'll be ready at six. In most of these countries in Central and South America, laundromats are kind of a drop off and full service pickup. So when we pick up our clothes, they'll be washed, dried and folded. It's insane. up here to what feels like the top of the world. We had to go all the way up an enormous volcano, which the tip is very, very, very high up at the top, but it's also active, so I don't think we can go to the very top. We are here at a swing called the Swing at the End of the World, and I am terrified of it. I am terrified of having to get down from that road. That was such a scary switchback, curvy, high-speed motorcycle ride. Not my favorite. Trent drives like a madman. 
Allie's motorcycle ride is my airplane ride. <laughs> La Mismo, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> Allie, every time the bike moves or does anything, Allie is like freaking out. That's how I am on an airplane. That's so. really funny. <laughs> It's a little scary looking. You ready for this? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. All right, I had my cortisol spike for the day. That was honestly terrifying. <laughs> I, uh, I feel exhausted after like a minute and a half of doing that. The swing was Ooh. like okay. You like, you know the swing is strong and you're like strapped in and there's two or three ropes. But then the guy like spins you yeah. while you're swinging high. That was That made me reckless. motion sick. I feel nauseous now. Yeah. Well. That was I think, reckless. I think one of the like... Uh, You're the king of reckless. Like, that was reckless. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I think one of the best parts about being up here is that the swing is like right in front of this huge volcano that normally has smoke billowing out of it. And it's covered in clouds right now, so we don't really yeah. get to see the tip of the volcano. It's an active volcano, which is really cool. It's been pretty chill the last year, but uh, you can normally see like some smoke. But of course, we're here in the rainy season, so the clouds come and go all day long. <laughs> But there's supposed to be a bunch of volcanoes that you can see around here, as well as all the waterfalls. It's a really beautiful mountain escape. It's I, an awesome area. I really like it, yeah. We paid our dollar to come up and do the enormous swing off the end of the earth, as they call it. We're gonna jump back on the bike, go back down to a lower altitude. The sun is roasting me up here, yeah. and probably find some food. Love it. Let's do it. Well, that was a little bit of an intense ride down. It started raining, the road is wet. It just always, you get a little bit more nervous, but we made it down safely and we made it to a place called Amori? Aromi? Uh, Aromi, it's right here. Aromi, cafe and chocolate. So we're gonna try out some hot chocolate. I guess Ecuador's hot chocolate is supposed to be the preferred drink of all Ecuadorians. It's supposed to be absolutely amazing. Obviously, Allie will be the one to test that because she's a chocolate-holic and I'm a coffee-holic, so I'm gonna have a coffee. She's gonna have a hot chocolate. We'll probably share a little bit, but this place looks great. Allie's dying, by the way. I don't know if it's the altitude or just the swing, but I feel really motion sick and nauseous. Hoping some hot chocolate can cure that. We'll see. We got ourselves some chocolate and cafe to go, and then we're heading back to the van with Frank. Back to the Snoopy house. The Snoopy house is the name of the place we're staying, if we haven't told you guys. It's adorable. Well, I would say that we made it back in the nick of time. However, we did not make it back in the nick of time. It started pretty much dumping rain on us, and we got a little bit wet, but we made it back to the van. Allie still feels kind of crappy. The hot chocolate was delicious, and I drank it all. But I just have such a bad headache and I feel like I'm going to pass out or throw up or both. I don't know. She's not doing so hot. So we're going to get her hydrated. We're going to lay down, maybe turn on some TV, some Netflix or something. The Snoopy house has Wi-Fi, so rare occurrence we get to watch Netflix. So we're just going to kind of relax for a little bit. Well, we took a little nap and I still don't feel great. So while Trent is going to go pick up our laundry that we dropped off earlier this morning, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of editing done. I don't know what's going on. I felt fine earlier today, and ever since we got back from the swing at the end of the world, I've just been super lethargic and tired, and every time I get up and walk around, I'm just super lightheaded. 
kind of sounds like altitude sickness, except for that I was fine this morning before we started biking around and exploring. And we went up in elevation a lot, but then we came right back down to where we started. So normally returning to your baseline altitude is what fixes altitude sickness. So I'm not sure why I'm still feeling so crummy, but we're just kind of taking it slow and trying to be as productive as possible. Luckily, Trent's amazing and he went to go pick up our laundry. He's gonna make dinner. He's being a champion. I don't know if you guys can hear me or if you can hear me, I don't know how well you can hear me, but I'm heading into town to go pick up our laundry while Allie tries to recuperate in the van. It's not ready. What? The lady like came out with a bag of different clothes. Uh, no, it's not correct. No. No. And she was like, is this yours? And I was like, no, this is not correct. And she's like, oh, okay, it'll take 30 more minutes. He's going twice to pick up the laundry. What a guy. Well, I just took the GoPro out, rode to the laundromat, picked up the laundry, and the GoPro was dead pretty much by the time I got back to the bike. So, no more footage for you, but I got the laundry. Allie got her little bit of editing done that she needed to get done. It has been such a long day. I think we're gonna warm up some leftovers and hit the sack. It's just one of those days I think uh, my body is telling me to slow down, take a breath. That's what we're gonna do. We have some exciting trips planned for the next few days, so we're gearing up for that, don't worry. So, if you guys are feeling lightheaded, feeling rushed, feeling stressed, maybe you should slow down too. If not, don't slow down. <laughs> don't slow down. Don't slow down. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us today. Like the video if you haven't. Subscribe if you're not already. Click the notification bell too. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. <laughs>